What's up? Taking out pots. We are unloading a glazed kiln. So this kiln is completely full of finished pots. We're at 200 degrees, the most exciting part of the pottery process, all the work goes into this. There's probably like 70 pots in here and the whole family's gonna come out and we're gonna unload this guy. So on the top, we got coasters, we got spoon rests, we got little trinket dishes with the melted recycled glass in there. Yeah, that is cool. What do you think? Good, because these would be good for like butter or something. Like butter? Yeah, like a... This is a spoon rest, so you can keep your counters clean. Looking pretty good. Pretty good? Wait, 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 wait. I'll lift you up so you can see them. Can I touch one? Oh, it's not pretty hot. It's not too hot? Yeah. I probably am the only one that can really unload it because it's so hot. Maybe that's for the best. Why yeah. Why do I have a gum on? I have a glove because it's kind of hot. All right, so these are all recycled glass coasters. Got a little glass in the bottom of those blue ones. Nice. Dad, look at this. Here's uh, another spoon rest. Yeah. Copper and Norse blue. What do you think of that color combo? Not your fave? Not my fave. I opened up this shelf. A little cookie that fused to this coaster. That's a bummer. That coaster was like perfect. That must have been on the bottom of the kiln shelf and then fell off but, and I didn't know it. So that's interesting. Oh, I see a cool mug down there. Look at that mug. Yes. Cool. What mug? The copper? Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Oh. That is epic. That is that so is cool. cool. That is sweet. That is. I hope I remember what I put on there. What do you uh, think, Ryder? Uh, like a sky blue or. That is really cool. I don't know if it's really showing up in the camera. Someday. There's another one too. I think that's the same, just oh, on a different clay. Okay. That is awesome. That is really cool. I'm super happy with that combo. What do you think of that? Ah, hot, 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 hot. Is it hot? Can you move that, John? Yeah, this one is sweet. This is just blue surf over alabaster, I think. Alabaster. What do you think? Isn't that cool? I mean, now it's like you don't like anything. <laughs> you don't like anything ever that I make. It's like that is not, that is not <sighs> Nice red, roar green over bright red. So more of these coasters, more of these mugs. Woo! That's cool. That's cool. Oh my God! Unfortunately, there's a bunch of pinholes. Look at that, that little. Is... Yeah, there is potential there. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. Like, that is so cool. How do you, could you refire it? Would you dare refire that? Yeah, I can refire it. Like, what that's unbelievable. Uh, why are we up so I'm not down? really sure why. Daddy, why are we up to down? That's the, that's the same? So it's on two different clays, so maybe that's why. That's just amazing, that transition right there. Huh? Yeah. Which is the same as, Oh no, it's not the same as that. There is so much potential there. Cause I did, I did spray half Norris blue and I sprayed half Aurora green. So then this transition is Aurora green over copper. Very encouraged about this combination. All right, is it too hot? To... Right. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of crystals that came out of that. That's cool. Ooh, that's hot. You feel that? Wow. Ah. <laughs> ah. You don't like that, huh, Ace? I do, I do. I do. I, I'm just more drawn to cool colors, but I think that's really, I mean, it's... Oh, so we're all on that one. That's cool. I like that. There, that's... Ooh, that's pretty. That's really cool. So it's interesting that that got no pinholes in it. Hey, Ryder, Ryder, Ryder. What do you think of that? That's cool. But, but, I, but I need to show them it. Okay, well, what do you want to show them? What do you think of that? Yeah, it's still cool. pretty hot, but I want to carry it. Isn't that sweet? Is bear there? What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. This has a layer of red on the top. They are so hot. I like can hardly even unload them with okay, gloves on. Okay, then I think we should wait. Why don't you All do right. it later? Ooh, I like that. That is so, that is beautiful. It is really beautiful. That's really nice. 
I love the transition between these two places. I like this one. It's really always nice. how it goes. Okay, you got it. Woo! Ow! Hot! Okay, all right, we're gonna take a two hour break and come back and do the rest later. Is that one your favorite? Yeah. Nice. What do you like about it? Because it has the green and the blue and the red inside. Nice. Well, so far, half is killing and loading. Bye bye! This, this is like probably my favorite thing. How'd you get under there? What are you doing? <laughs> Hopefully these bugs are a little more handleable. Nice, now I can handle them without. Those are cool. So I carved the bottom of these mugs, right? So then the glaze just drips like perfectly down. That's really quite cool. Love them, love those. And then here we go, here's some carved Norse blue and raspberry mist, love it with the carved handle on there too. And then yeah, I unloaded one of these earlier. Ooh, that one's still a little warm. But one of my favorite mugs that I drink out of at home is this combo. Carved uh, dark blue gloss with robin's egg on top. That is nice. So Canyon Skies carved. Those have sold very quickly whenever I have them available in the shop. A lot of this stuff is probably available in my Etsy shop. It goes live March. 15th. Woo! Love that. Love it. Love that combo right there where it's like white to pink to purple to blue. That's that's the goal to get it to be and then white on the inside. Loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's got a little grinding to do on those. Another carved one on the bottom. Digging that color. Another one of those guys. Tumbler. Feels good. Got that spot for your pinky. Thought that would blend a little more between the two glazes. Didn't really blend at all. Whoa! So this copper, I'm very encouraged by this copper glaze. I, you probably can't tell how cool this glaze looks, but it looks, I mean this one and this one are, I'm just like over the moon about this one. This one is unbelievable, like unbelievable. And then this one is also cool. In my opinion, not quite as cool. Hot! Okay, these are a little hot still. Wow. Nice. Nice. So this one, nice. So sometimes every once in a while, I'll get a glaze combination that I really like, but it starts getting pinholes in it for whatever reason. So I don't do it for a while, and then all of a sudden I think, I'm gonna try that glaze again. And that's what happened with this. I was getting pinholes in this glaze, even though it's really a sweet glaze. Raspberry mist with muddy waters on top. But now there's no pinholes. Mystery, mystery to me. Why did it get pinholes before? Now it doesn't. Copper ore over winter wood with a spiral going on action. Love it. It's basically like drinking a, think about if you made a caramel latte in there. It's like drinking a caramel latte out of a caramel latte mug. That'd be a good name. We should get back to naming my glaze combinations. Like, what could this one be? A mud waterfall? Mud waterfall? Caramel latte? All right, and I think that is basically it. Ooh, that looks nice. Canyon skies with chattering texture. That chattering looks good. I just did a little bit of chattering on some, and there's certain glaze combinations that I think will look nice, and there's others that don't, so. All right, hey guys, check out the Etsy shop if you wanna see any of this stuff. It may be there, it might be gone. I don't really know. March 15th is the next restock. The next one after that is gonna be beginning of April. And then we have an art market in April at Mocha Monkey. Uh, and then it's just summertime. August is our Epic Pottery event. Come check it out. Got lots of exciting things coming. See you guys in the next video.